so today for meal prep we are going to be making cowboy bean bake which is this recipe in your recipe pack you will need a packet of your favorite sausages some streaky bacon an onion a can of chopped tomatoes a can of baked beans a teaspoon of mustard a tablespoon of soft brown sugar and some oil for frying it in First of all, we're going to weigh out our sausages and bacon. So the recipe says 225 grams of sausages, which is going to be about half a packet of sausages. So we also want 225 grams of the streaky bacon, which is about 10 rashers. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up the sausages and the bacon. Because this is raw meat, I'm using a red board like we do in school. But again, if you don't have colored boards at home, then just make sure that you always use a separate board for your raw meat. So I'm gonna carefully cut the sausages into chunks. And then I'm gonna chop up the bacon into chunks as well. Right, so I'm going to put that to one side for a minute and then I'm just going to wash my hands. Very important to wash your hands when you've been handling more meat. So next we're going to chop up the onion. So I'm using a green board for this. We use the bridge grip that we um, use in school first and cut through half the onion. And then peel the skin off. So once you've got all the skin off your onion, lay it down flat on the board like that. And then use the bridge again to chop it in half again. And then put it down flat again. And this time use the claw to just chop it into thin slices. I'm going to heat some oil in a large frying pan. I'm going to pop the onions in. And I'm going to chuck in the bacon and the sausages as well. And then I'm going to fry that until the onions are golden and soft. I'm looking about ready now to add the rest of our ingredients. The can of chopped tomatoes. Can of baked beans, teaspoon of mustard, and a bit of soft brown sugar. I give that a really good stir so it's all mixed up. All you need to do is turn down the heat to a medium heat, pop the lid on, and leave it to simmer for about half an hour. But make sure you come back to it at regular intervals and give it a stir so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Once it's been simmering for about half an hour, it should be ready to serve up. And that's how we make cowboy bean bake. Bye everyone!